Norman Rockwell's Freedom from Want illustrates one of President Franklin Roosevelt's four freedoms. These four freedoms, or human rights, were originally presented in his 1941 State of the Union Address. Freedom from Want is commonly referred to as the Norman Rockwell Thanksgiving, the artist's idealized, romanticized version of what it means to be American, in terms of family togetherness, prosperity, traditional values, abundance, and giving thanks. Rockwell's portrayal serves as a nostalgic symbol of holiday celebration and togetherness in American society. The setting is Thanksgiving dinner, a national holiday celebrating and united fellow Americans on all fronts. This painting is an example of romanticism because it portrays an idealized version of the American Thanksgiving during a time of war and hardship. The young men sitting at the table, however, are one detail of the painting that personifies romanticism given the likelihood they would already be enlisted in the war. It's an idyllic situation as they are present at the dinner table rather than on the battlefield. In reality, even army nurses weren't granted leave to return to their families for Thanksgiving, let alone the soldiers themselves. The, the number of males in the family also makes the chance of their being home even more unlikely, knowing the more sons there were in the family, the more likely it was for at least one son to enlist. The facial expressions are perhaps the most romanticized aspect of all. Any fears or worries stemming from the war are inherently absent. Holidays are a time when families gather together to give thanks and to rekindle moments of the past. And while holidays are typically a happy time for all on the surface, families gathering together all under one roof typically tend to be more overwhelming than cheerful. This makes the setting all the more romantic instead of real. Family arguments at the dinner table are almost as much a staple for Thanksgiving as the Thanksgiving turkey itself. Not to mention, the war effort only adds to this tension. In a time of war, when there is little to celebrate, let alone be thankful for, one can only hope for a holiday as close to normalcy as possible, let alone idyllic. Yet again, this poses as an example where reality is absent, and the romantic ideal of what Thanksgiving should be like is taking place of what the holiday actually is like. Likewise, the plethora of foods sitting on the table, the enormous size of the turkey, and the overflowing fruit bowl portray the ideal and romantic. In retrospect, this excess of food is highly unlikely during a time when food is rationed and even scraps of food are hard to come by. Given the overabundance and richness of color, the food is an overwhelming presence. It is a sight of perfection. The yellow and orange overtones are pleasing to the eye, suggesting an overall sense of warmth and harmony, only making it that much more surreal and therefore romantic. This painting is a portrayal of the romantic, ideal form of an American Thanksgiving, at a time when hope is hard to come by. Rockwell's dream fails to depict the darker side of reality, issues like poverty, divorce, broken homes, all of which Rockwell seems to ignore. Friend from Want stands to represent the nostalgic, romanticized, stereotypical portrayal of the American family and traditional American values, a representation that is entirely oblivious to life's real complexities and is thus entirely inaccurate. Always the idealist, Norman Rockwell once said, I paint life as I would like it to be. This painting is his mythical and innocent vision of what our nation can and should be. In short, Steven Spielberg once said, Rockwell painted the American dream better than anyone.